Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm super excited today because today's video, I'm gonna show you the coolest, easiest balancer for the Lego EV3 Mindstorms robot. You're gonna have to see this because I'm gonna not only show you how to make it, I'm gonna show you how to program it, and I'm gonna show you how easy this thing can be built. You're gonna have to stay with me. So the thing that I love about this balancer is I've done uh, projects like the Gyro Boy. And I'm thinking, you know what? There has to be a simpler balancer than the Gyro Boy. I mean, look how easy this thing is to build. So what I'm going to do in this video is um, go through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this. And it's going to be super fast. I mean, just look at that. And then I'm going to show you the program. And then I'm going to show you just how cool this thing is. So let's first get to the building instructions. All right, everybody. This is why I love this project so much. These are all the pieces that make up the balancer. That's it. So if you guys want to grab your EV3 kit and get these pieces, I will give you a chance to pause the video and just meet me back here. So here we go. I got three tens. Got your brick. Got two of the uh, white L pieces. This is a, that's a nine. Your two 15s, two H pieces, uh, two of the short and two of the long nails. That is three, six, seven, eight, nine of your black connectors, uh, two wheels, two large motors. Um, this is a 13. These are two of your J beams. Obviously your gyro sensor here. Four blue connectors. Um, a three, and then these two uh, gray pieces, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the red connectors, and that's it. We can use all of that to make our balancer. So let's go ahead and build. Okay, so here's gonna be our first step with the J-beams. So you're gonna put two red connectors right there, and we're gonna put one of those gray H's right there. Let me just flip this over so you can see that. Okay, and what we're gonna do is do the same thing to the other J-beam, but just opposite. So if I can flip that over, there's the two red connectors and the H piece goes right there. Okay, the red connectors do not push them in all the way yet. That's gonna be for a later step. Okay, so we're gonna take your two large motors here and basically you can see what I did. I put a black connector right here, black connector on the, the same spot with the opposite side. And then we're gonna put a blue connector right here, but don't push the blue connector in all the way. Same thing with this side, just push it in so that it stays there, but we're gonna go ahead and stick the J beams right there. So let's go ahead and do that while we're at it. So for this one here, let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna do. Place, oops, got the wrong side. We're gonna place this J-beam right there, just enough so that we can now push, push this blue connector in like so. So let me go ahead and show you what that should look like. And the same thing for this side. Let me pull that out. That's a classic case of pushing that in too far. Okay, put that in just enough. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing, if there's a tricky part to it. There we go. So there's the blue connector in, on that side. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab the two white um, beams. Basically go ahead and put this at the end here. like so and same thing here with this side but it's just gonna go on the opposite side there we go so we just put the white beams on the outside of the motors there now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab um, both nails the two small ones and the two large nails 
So here we go. The first one thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let me show you which motor I'm grabbing here. And I'm basically now going to go right through the middle of that motor, like so. And then on the other motor, opposite thing, except it's going to go like that. So we have those two large nails coming in like that. And for the two small nails, we're going to basically go ahead and just make it a little more solid through this part right here. So it's going to, I'm just going to put it right through there. Ooh, that feels solid. So right there. And then on the same, the opposite side, this is going to go right between there. Just to kind of hold everything a lot stronger together. So let me go ahead and turn this and show you what everything should look like now. Same thing on that side. Let's move on. Next thing we're going to do is um, attach our wheels. Put on there. Try not to make it too tight. And it's up to you if you guys want to put something on the end here. If you want to put a yellow bushing or the white uh, tooth, that's up to you. I don't think it's necessary, so I'm not doing it. And, um, you know, my quest was to not use that many pieces, so that's why I didn't use it. All right, so I got both wheels on. This is coming together. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is grab the 13 beam. And we're going to go ahead and put um, black connectors in it like so. Two there. And two there. Like so. And what we're going to do now is basically connect these two large motors together. So if we flip this around like so. And that's basically just going to hold the two large motors together. So there we go. The next thing you're going to do is grab the, uh, the nine beam. We're going to go ahead and stick the blue connector in like so. So it's halfway through on that side halfway through on this side, like so. Okay, once you have the nine beam here with the two um, blue connectors through it, we're gonna go ahead and put it through these two holes right there, that these bottom ones, like so. Okay, then you're gonna grab these two gray pieces and we're gonna be putting them into the top hole. Voila, like so. Okay. The next thing you're going to do, let me move this off to the side, grab the two uh, white L pieces. We're going to do this first one over here, holding it like that. We're going to go ahead and put two red connectors in like so. And then the other side, just the opposite. Two red connectors in like that. So we have it like this. And we're going to go ahead and basically attach it to the blue and gray piece that we just inserted. So one's going to go like that. Other one's going to go on like that. Sorry, not giving you much... Oh, and we can't push these in. Okay. Looking good. Okay, we're now ready for the brick. So what we're going to do is, notice we did not push these red uh, connectors in all the way. So if I can flip this around, here's basically what's going to happen. We're going to put um, these red ones right here, we're going to put those through the back right down here. And these red connectors are basically, where'd they go? Okay. They're going to get pushed in 
these are going to get pushed in sideways to put the brick on. So let me go ahead and get that attached. Let me kind of flip this around so you can see it this way. Let me raise the camera up just a bit so you can see this better. All right, there we go. All right, so here we go. Brick is going on like here. If you're doing this right, it should go into the two outside holes. Like so. And now you should be able to just push these two ones in together on the side here. You might have to give that a little wiggle. There we go. That one's in right here. And if I flip these over, these two are going to hopefully slide in. Oh, good. Okay. So the red, uh, red connectors just slide in from the side. All right. This is really coming together. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab your cables. We're gonna be putting these in A and D. A and D. And we'll just plug these into your large motors. Tricky part's gonna be to get around here, but I think we can do it. Trust me, I am not the greatest cable plug in person. All right, there we go. I think it's just my big fingers. All right, and then we're gonna go underneath here. Come on. There we go. And then they can stay just behind these red connectors. That, that's a good safe home for them. Okay, the instructions that I'm gonna leave you in the description have um, using an ultrasonic sensor. And I didn't wanna involve the ultrasonic sensor because it uses the infrared. And I, didn't, I don't have the home version. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to the gyro sensor. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put that on so you can um, just have this thing be balanced. I don't, I don't need to use the infrared. I'm just going to have this thing uh, work with the gyro sensor. So let me go ahead and show you how that's going to get put on. Um, you're going to go ahead and grab those last few pieces that we were using. The three, this gray piece here, three black connectors and this gray piece here. So I'm gonna first put the black connectors into here like so. Like that. Go ahead and put this black piece into here like so. I'm gonna go ahead and put this three right through the middle of the gyro sensor like so. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and... Whoops, let me turn this around. I'm going to slide this piece on like so. Then I'm going to slide this piece on like that. So let me go ahead and show you what that's going to look like. And let me go ahead and flip this around so you can see where this is going to go. This gyro, gyro sensor is basically going to go right here where these, it's going to basically go into these holes right there. These two and this one right there. Okay, once you have your gyro sensor attached, we're going to go ahead and plug it into port number two. So cool watching this guy go around.
guys. Hopefully you love this balancer robot. Like you can see from the video, it's just so super easy to build. And you know, if you're looking for just an easy build that can balance like that, man, this guy's a champ. So give this a shot. Um, you know, if you found my instructions hard to follow, you can always hit the link up in the description and there were pictures to show you how to build this thing. But hopefully I did a good job in showing you how to make this thing. So this guy was just super cool, super awesome. Hopefully you guys liked it, okay? All right, guys. I'm, you know.